Hey guys, this video is about a playing card detector program I wrote using OpenCV Python. It runs on the Raspberry Pi 3 to detect and identify playing cards in a live video image. This video gives a quick description of what it does and how it works. You can view the full source code for the card detector program at the GitHub link in the video description below. The playing card detector performs image processing on a live video feed to detect, isolate, and identify playing cards. It runs on a Raspberry Pi with an attached Pi camera, which is mounted above a card table to capture cards that are dealt in front of it. As playing cards are dealt into the camera's view, they are individually detected and processed. The program can detect and identify as many cards as are able to fit in the screen. The program is written in Python and uses the extensive OpenCV image processing library, which has pre-written functions for doing things like image thresholding, contour detection, feature description, and many other image processing operations. The algorithm for processing the playing cards is split into two parts, detection and then identification. To detect the playing cards, the image from the video feed is converted to grayscale, blurred, and then thresholded. Then, the program finds all the contours in the thresholded image. It filters out the smaller objects so that only the card size contours remain. Now the program knows how many playing cards are in the image. Once the program has detected how many cards are in the image, it needs to identify each of the cards. It does this by isolating the rank and suit of each card in the image, and comparing them to pre-identified rank and suit images. I'll show how this process works for the eight of spades in this example image. The program starts by approximating the corner points of the contour, and using them to transform the card into a 200 by 300 flattened perspective image. Then, it takes a snip of the corner of this image to isolate the rank and suit. The corner is zoomed in by a factor of 4, thresholded, and cut into top and bottom halves. The top half contains the rank, and the bottom half contains the suit. To isolate the rank, the program finds the contours in the top half. The rank is snipped out using the minimum area bounding rectangle for the largest contour, shown here in green. Then, the snipped image is resized to 70 by 125 pixels. Now that the rank is isolated, it can be compared to pre-identified images that are stored on the hard drive. These images are referred to as train images. The isolated rank is referred to as the query image. To identify the rank, the query image is compared to each of the train images. First, the 8 is subtracted from the image of an ace. Come on little Raspberry Pi, there we go. This results in a picture that shows their differences. The objects being compared aren't very similar, so it results in a large amount of white pixels. The program counts how many white pixels are in the differenced image. The match quality number shown on the screen is the number of white pixels, so a high number indicates a poor match. When the 8 is compared to a 2, there are slightly less white pixels, so it has a slightly better match quality. The algorithm continues comparing the rank to each of the train images, storing the name of the card that has the current best match. When the rank is compared to an 8, the match quality is very good because the images are nearly identical. After all the comparisons, the 8 results in the best match quality, so the program knows the query card is an 8. The same process is used to identify the suit of the card. Finally, the rank and suit of the card are displayed on the video image. This algorithm is run on every card in the image for every single frame from the video feed. It is computationally intensive, but the Raspberry Pi still manages to achieve 3 to 5 frames per second, even when 4 or more cards are being processed. Ultimately, I'd like to use this program to develop a Raspberry Pi powered blackjack playing robot. The robot would have a hand of blackjack dealt in front of it, identify the cards, and make a hit or stand decision based on the cards it has. It could also count cards and implement card counting strategies, making it the perfect blackjack player. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos as I continue developing my blackjack playing Raspberry Pi powered robot. See you next time!